Well, after a few tense days, Prime Minister Narendra Modi sued Sidramaya's tenseness over the Kaveri Management Board issue. But the problem for the state seems to be far from over. Here's a report. Despite repeated reassurances by BJP leaders on the Kaveri Water Management Board issue, an all-party delegation led by a determined CM met the Prime Minister in the national capital today. The so-called precautionary deliberations ended with Narendra Modi reiterating what BJP leaders had been stating all the while. He assured the delegation that the centre had no plans and was in no hurry to set up a management board. Kaveri Nirna Vivadas Bhagge explained Madhi Devi. But the one who Manivi Enna Aurige Koti Devi, Memorandum Submit Madhi Devi. अदरली ये लाय एक्सप्लेन मारी दी थी, हमारा डर मिली, मतलब प्रधानमंत्री को ये जीवन में पेशेंट हीरी, हाँ मेले और ये लोग दोस्त जेलर तावरों को डबल बेटी मारी, ये लोग ये आंतर दली, केंद्र सरकार के वाटर मैनेजमेंट बोर्ड मार्डली को बराला, मार्डली को बराला, मतलब नाउ आद के नमूदेन अप्रहेंशन अंतर है, पत्र के लिए लला बंदी ले, अ अगर मुआ आता ही दे, ड्राफ्ट नोट तो मुआ आता ही दे, ना उस बंदी तरह दिन ना हो, आल पार्टी डेलीगेशन ना तगा बंदो और ये मनवर के मर्डी दी भी the CM argues that in the seventh interlocutory application filed to the Supreme Court, the Apex Court has stated clearly that there is no necessity to form a management board. It also clearly states that Tamil Nadu's appeal to constitute the board will be heard along with other civil complaints in the coming month. So going by the law, the Chief Minister feels that such a board cannot be set up anywhere in the near future. But trouble from downstream Kaveri still looms large as the 37 MP strong AIADMK is pressing for the constitution of the board at the earliest. If her demands are met with, then the decision making power of the Karnataka government over the issue would significantly slip between its fingers. This has put Narendra Modi's newly formed government somewhere in between a rock and a hard place. Will the centre step in, prepared to face the wrath of people of either states, or will it wait for the Supreme Court verdict and face flak for inaction anyway? A Newsland report. And the Union Ministry of Water Resources is mulling over implementing strict laws to prevent pollution of our rivers. And as a first step, it would start by cleansing the Ganges. 10,000 rupees fine and three months in jail. As promised, the Union Ministry has got cracking over its mission to clean up the Ganges. The Union Water Resource Ministry is mulling over imposing a fine of 10,000 rupees if anyone is found spitting in the holy river Ganga. Not just that, the act will also carry a maximum of a three-month jail term. The Union Water Resources Minister Uma Bharti, in the run-up to the elections, had promised to clean up the river and restore its earlier sanctity. Now it would seem that she is indeed keen on delivering on her word. Meanwhile, sources have also stated that the government is planning to prohibit dumping of garbage and waste in the river. The central government wants to ensure that the cleaning project moves forward with the cooperation from the general public. The Ministry of Water Resources issued a statement saying that no official directive has been issued so far in this regard. The ministry claims that this move does not mean that the government is not prioritizing other rivers. But with the government undertaking such a noble initiative, who is complaining? A new Snan report. Well, many days after the tragic death of Union Minister Gopinath Munde, cries for a CBI inquiry refused to die down. BJP leaders today once again demanded that the case be deeply probed to find the truth. CBI to probe Gopinath Munde's death. 
With pressure mounting on the Home Ministry, the central government is likely to order a CBI probe into the death of former Union Rural Development Minister Gopinath Munde. The decision, if taken, will be the outcome of constant demands from various BJP leaders to probe his death. Earlier today, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari and Maharashtra BJP leader Devendra Fadnis met Home Minister Rajnath Singh and put forth their demand. Gopinath Munde ji uh, was one of the tallest uh, leaders in Maharashtra and after his unfortunate death, uh, there was a demand from people uh, that there should be a probe, a CBI probe uh, in his death. Uh, we, today, uh, I met uh, uh, Honorable Rajnath Singh ji, our Home Minister, with Honorable Nitin Gadkari ji and we apprised him uh, about uh, people's emotion and uh, Rajnath Singh ji assured us that he will immediately uh, take uh, the positive action to probe uh, this death. While the post-mortem report says that the death was caused because of a cardiac arrest following a road accident, there are many who maintain that his death could be the result of a well-plotted conspiracy. While it is very likely that the probe would be ordered, an official confirmation from the Home Ministry is yet to be made. A News 9 report. Well, the Karachi airport came under attack once again as militants made futile attempts to blow up the hangar at the airport. Here's the report. Karachi airport under attack again. Second attack in 48 hours. Karachi airport witnessed the second major gun battle in less than 48 hours after heavily armed militants open fired at the airport security force camp number two. The terrorists holed up in a building near the airport and began firing indiscriminately at the security training camp outside the airport. Fresh attempt to target planes. Armed with heavy artillery, terrorists made futile attempts to blow up planes at the airport hangar. Reinforcements were immediately called to secure the area. ASF foes were seen taking positions in an open area of scrubland adjacent to the building where the terrorists had taken shelter. Terrorists first attacked the checkpoint at the airport. The militants then hijacked a vehicle and began firing. Ambulances and paramilitary forces were seen rushing to the scene of attack in order to contain the situation. Two hours of continuous firing. The airport came to a standstill following the strike. According to officials, the gunfire was directed towards their camp, but no gunmen could penetrate the airport security perimeter. इस वक्त जो है तो सिचुएशन 100 परसेंट अंडर कंट्रोल है कोई दहशतगर्द इस इलाके में नहीं है किसी ने कोई पेनिट्रेशन नहीं की नॉर्मल फ्लाइट ऑपरेशंस जारी हैं और इस वक्त पहलवान गोट और बिटाइयाबाद के इलाके में सर्च ऑपरेशन जारी है जो कि पुलिस और रेंजर्स दोनों अपने अपने इलाके में मुकम्मल फोर्स के साथ कर रहे हैं और इन इस पूरे इलाके को हम क्लियर करें एस एफ टेक कंट्रोल ऑफ द सिचुएशन द स्ट्राइक एट द एस एफ कैंप वॉज रिपल्स post which terrorists who initiated the strike reportedly hoodwinked security forces and escaped. The strike came to an end in less than two hours after which the flights resumed. Park stung by homegrown terror. The outlaw Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan has claimed responsibility for the attack. Nawaz to forces, eliminate gunmen. Pakistan's Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has said that the attackers should be pursued and eliminated. The military sealed off the area and are conducting intensive combing operations. The latest episode of violence comes against the backdrop of a major split in the Pakistani Taliban and threats of retaliation following military operations against Pakistan's tribal northwest. The ASF were successful in neutralizing the attack on Karachi airport, but questions are being raised on the homegrown terror. It is clear that Pakistan is facing a backlash of the terror network. A News 9 report. And in what can be called as a welcome respite for Asaram Babu, the key witness against him succumbed to his injuries early this morning. Amrit Prajapati, the only key witness in Asaram's case, succumbed to injuries at his residence this morning. Sources within the hospital claimed that before Amrit bid goodbye, he wrote the names of his killers on a piece of paper and gave it to the police. After firing, Prajapati gave names of five suspected persons behind the attack. He even gave phone numbers and addresses of these men. 
However, no one is arrested yet by Rajkot police. Amrit Prajapati was shot on March 23rd by an unidentified assailant. But Prajapati's wife strongly opines that it was one of Asaram's men who shot him. Asaram is behind the murder of my husband. We many a times told the police about possible attack on him, but no one took it seriously. I don't trust the local police and demand a high-level inquiry into the murder of my husband. Investigation pertaining to the case is underway. Asaram might have tried to wipe out his so-called traitor, but he still continues to cool his heels in jail as the main accused in a rape case. A News 9 report. Well, creating fake property documents to escape property tax is a thing of the past in Kolkata. Didi has come up with an easier option. Kolkata to be white and blue soon. Yes, if people in Kolkata paint their houses in Didi's favorite colors, then they will get relief from paying property tax for one year. The proposal got the nod of Mayor Sovan Chatterjee at a mayor and council meet held yesterday. We will allow full waiver of property tax for 2014-15. If anybody wishes to paint his or her house or even apartment buildings, of course, residential, in white and sky blue, the theme colour for Kolkata. Mamta Banerjee feels that colouring the city white and blue will increase the liveliness of the people and will lift the city's spirits. Even as the TMC government is planning to give a new look to the city, the BJP is dead opposed to it. Why white and blue? The government has to go to the public and explain the reason for such a colour choice before taking up such schemes. However, this act of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation, or to say of Mamta Banerjee, is a childish one which will put the already bankrupt civic body into further financial crisis. A few architects in the city felt that giving these two colours to the buildings of the city might not be a very good idea. One should leave matters like the colour of a building to personal choice. A white and blue colour scheme would suit contemporary buildings but not heritage structures. Earthen colours suit old buildings. Kolkata has had an organic growth. Altering it will take away the city's flavour. Mamta Banerjee's bid to change the city's colour by giving them a tax waiver might attract a certain number of people, but not everyone would like to have the same colour like the others for their houses. Will Didi's dreams of colouring Kolkata white and blue become a reality? A new Snan report.